get on top ready. Uh, we're going to do this side and then we're going to cover where the garage is. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, mix up the paint, make sure I get the ratios right. Got the masks, uh, some fiber uh, cloth, some gloves. Most importantly, we're going the El Cheapo way, Harbor Freight, whatever. We're working on a budget anyways. Let's see how it comes out. Got the adapter for the holes. And that's it. They gave me like the shortest sticks. All right, so not exactly going according to plan. Can't really put anything off the top, but we blocked off as much wind as possible to lift the, the dust in the air. And we went to the floor. So we're not lifting dust as we go. Anyway, the wind is dropped, is slowly blowing this way, so we don't need to cover this part. But right now I'm just gonna de degrease the car and we'll take it from there. down. Came out all right. Uh, not happy about the workspace, but it's just like not having union. But it's it's like self-leveling. It's drawn up pretty good. It's only the first scope. So two will follow. All right. All right, guys. This is on the second coat. One more coat following. Uh, I'm going to finish the video because we're running out of sunlight, as you can tell. But, let me tell you something, man. This shit is, on his dad, this is looking sweet. I'm 
telling you, I don't think the video shows any justice. It is looking nice. Look at that. Still wet. So, but it's, it's looking good. Look at that bad boy. Oh, that's so sweet. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so today we're going to Connecticut uh, to put on a couple things on the car. Uh, mostly trims. We got the stick trim that's going back on, the cup holder trim. Uh, there's some letters here. I'm not going to say for what, but it's a surprise. Anyways, uh, I had one 3D printed the trim uh, for the stick uh, with like a holding sign there, but I'm having problem with the flexibility uh, for the little pins, the little uh, clips. They break off very easily, so yeah, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to redo it with another type of uh, plastic, so we'll do that later. I just want it ready to go, basically. Anyways, uh, the fog lights are ready to go on. Uh, you remember that from the last video. Uh, the hood scoops. Now, what I did, is, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not putting the rubber and the plastic guard back. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna have that taken off. So the way you remove it is uh, take pliers, needle nose, or whatever, uh, squeeze them together fairly easy pops off on one side and then you then you do the other one try not to break it shit breaks really easy all right and that's it so basically it's hollow this is the way I want it I want more air in uh, it's not necessarily for the intake because the intake runs all the way under but uh, at least to, you know, get some nice uh, ambient air inside, cool off the components or whatever. All right, we are here, boys and girls. All right, so we're going to jack up the car, get the tires off, so uh, we can adjust the suspension. Uh, Got to drop this, uh, the front struts uh, at least half an inch. And lift the rear by half inch because uh, it does rub so uh, once we lift it we'll uh, stiffen it and we'll take it from there but for now I'm just gonna splice the lights while we lift while my brother's lifting it split the wires for the for the fog lights and place some more all right so what we're gonna do here is uh, your black is always your ground Start with that first. Connected really, really good. All right. And some tape. Ah. Okay. line up the three the three uh, clips and it's in there like swimwear one two three As of yet, I don't think we need. To. Well, they're they're uh, what do you call it? They they are blacked out, so there's no point. Line up perfectly. The longest one is goes into the deepest one, and line it up. All right, that's 
good. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't bring it. Fuck. Oh shit. I forgot the the front grill. Interesting. Well. Interesting. But Oscar, just because you need more content for your videos, doesn't mean that you. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not trying to like make more content. Trust me. Last thing I want to do is make more work for myself. All right. Off to the next thing. Let's get this suspension straight. God damn, that looks nice. Ah. All right, guys, we're in Connecticut. Let's try this again. We had some issues with the suspension struts. They just did not want to cooperate. Well, let's give it another try. Say goodbye. Looks like it might pour. I hope not. What? We here? I don't know what this fucking thing is doing here, but oh, I guess it was raining. Spends all the fucking leaves out here. Damn mess. But this motherfucking car's looking fine. All right, finishing touches coming along slowly. Uh, let's see. All right, this goes. Inside like this. down even more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Reverse. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Huh? Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, it's... You wanna take a look? Just drop down. It's worse than a little bit. What do you mean worse? Of course it's worse. It went from like this to that. I understand. Stop recording. Go slow. Holy shit, that's fucking close. Alright, keep going, keep going. Doesn't seem like it's going down. Keep going, keep going. Alright, it's going up a little bit. Well, it keeps going up now. It all depends on how you pivot diagonally across. So, I uh, just park it in there. Uh, 
Let's look at this shit. Go forward a little bit. Go forward. That's uh, go back. See like it picks up again and then drops down again. I understand. Even though we got this far, apparently we're having a problem with one of the struts in the rear, uh, specifically left rear. As you can tell in the video, it dropped dramatically. It wasn't supposed to drop that much, but uh, uh, you know, due to the fact that I live a little further away, we only get to work on this car once, this second time in this week, but well, once a week. And uh, we were adjusting it, but for some reason the left rear side is not cooperating. So next week I'm going to have to take it off and see maybe if it is defective, that we're losing hydraulic pressure somewhere or whatever the case is. Either way, uh, I'll let you guys know and update you guys on what's going on. Thank you guys for staying patient. I haven't posted in a while, but... Um, coming to you uh, soon with another video of what the hell is going on but so far the car is looking great as you've seen the paint job came up awesome although we'll have to do another coat because uh, we do have some uh, imperfections which I'll show uh, I think next week maybe hopefully and uh, we'll take it from